Hello everybody, it's me Paddy from Across the Shock again. Um, just a quick update video. I showed you my lemon ganzo yesterday, as in it was um, badly ground and there was a chip out of the blade. So last night I spent about an hour and a half, which is probably why I love 440C, um, regrinding it and had to take quite a bit of metal off because the chip was quite deep. So what I've got today now is the finished article. I am very proud of it. So it doesn't matter what you say down below. I love it. It's now a really usable Ganzo. I am so grateful to people like, especially Jeff Jewell, who has given me a lot of his, his time and his, uh, he's answered all my questions. And some of them have been really stupid. So I'd like to thank Jeff and people like Dino, uh, people who hand sharp, and I've watched an awful lot of videos. Um, I found it, how can I put it? I didn't find it as hard as I thought I was going to find it because I've been, I just copied what they've done, what they've shown, and it seemed to work great. Um, I didn't go further than 600 grit, and I actually think I've got a razor sharp edge, which I'll show you at the end, um, which again, I find amazing. I thought you had to go way up the grips. 600 was as much as I got to, uh, and I didn't need any more because it's a real, you know, it's an EDC knife. It's, it's a, it's a lovely knife, but I'll show you that at the end. You'll see how sharp it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the knife. Um, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, it's probably a good idea to watch it first. It's only about four minutes long. It'll show you what this knife was like yesterday. And then today is the, the rebirth, if you like. And then I'll show you what I used because my whole sharpening gear cost me less than about £15. Now, in saying that, I know I need to get better stuff. But at the moment, that's what I've got. So that's what I'm using. And it's amazing what you can do as long as you follow what people like Jeff Jewell says. You know, you just follow how he sharpens, how he holds it. Um, and what I'm going to do now... Um, hopefully in the next few weeks I'll get some better stones and then I'm going to start doing maybe a wee sharpening video myself just to uh, let people see that complete novices can can do it. So without further ado I'll show you the knife now. This is the offending article which was my it was my worst ganzo bless it. Um, I'll turn it right and I'll show you the the grind now. This was the better side and um, there was a large chip up here which is completely gone now. Um, I'm trying to get the light because it's it's not a mirror finish, but it's not far off it, to be honest with you. Um, I stropped it afterwards. This was the terribly bad side, and I'll just let you see it now. The grind is not perfect, um, and I don't claim it to be perfect, but if you'd have seen it yesterday, it is so much better right up into the plunge I sort of managed to round, round it off so that it looks a bit better than it did yesterday and this knife I mean if I, if I just show you this now will be a proper look at that centering it's straight up the hay diddle diddle I mean it's not off to the side at all um, so it's now a lovely knife um, I'm really pleased I hope those at Ganzo are not too upset that I showed it, but what I also did show that, uh, you know, a Ganzo, because it's 440 steel, an amateur like me can regrind it again, you know, even if you do make, if you chip it yourself, it doesn't take that much, ex well, obviously it doesn't take that much expertise, because I've done it. Um, as I say, have you seen the state of this blade yesterday and how uneven the grinds were? Um, I think you'd agree that's a, a real nice difference. So I'll just show you how sharp this is uh, and then I'll show you what I used to do it with. This is just a bit of newspaper. I mean, I just think, you know, that, that was done on 600 grit and then there's nothing, there's no sound. It just slides through it all the way up to the tip. You know, there's no dull spots. I am, I can't tell you how chuffed I am over the moon. So, thank you, Jeff Jewell, and uh, the other people that I've shared there uh, that I watched and studied. Now, let's get rid of this here. 
Um, that's the knife. So now I'll just show you what I've got. I'll have to give Jeff this. I'm really sorry. I used this. This is a real rough stone. I've had it in my toolbox for I could not tell you how many years. It's as rough as an old badger. But I tried to do the reprofile and I flattened the, the edge profile of the knife with this. But when I tried to get right up into the choil, into the corner, this wasn't very good because the sides are so rough. So sorry, Jeff. But I have this cheapy Chinese no-name um, uh, diamond sharpener. And I used it to get right up into the, the, the choil where it had been badly done. Uh, and that's the only time I used that. Once I'd got that sorted out, I went back to, this is a new stone I'd bought. I bought this for £3 off Amazon Delivered. <laughs> it's a Dectron or something. I showed a video of it the other week. It's a great wee stone, but I have to say it's quite soft and the edges don't last too long. Um, so I will, I'm going to have to order uh, an India, a Norton India stone uh, as soon as I can and get it. And finally, this is what I use. Um, I bought this strop, I'll have to say. It's the one with a shark on it. Uh, it's a UK uh, place that makes them. It's on a nice bit of uh, solid wood. And I use blue Smurf poo. That's all I've ever used, really, so I, I don't see any point in changing it. It gets me a nice shine in my blades, and it also gives them a little bit of a sharpening. It's more just for honing than, than sharpening. So that's everything I've got, and that's the result. Um... I am over the moon with it. It's now a lovely, effective part of my EDC rotation and uh, I couldn't be happier. So, thumbs up to uh, Ganzo. I hope the good sports about this. If they do watch it, I know sometimes they do watch them, but it came back to normal. But the, I think they just, I hope they don't let, I hope this is one, um, just one that got away. I hope they're not going to let their quality control go because so far it's been really, really good. So, folks, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And hopefully in the next month or two, when I get a bit more confident, I'll do a wee sharpening video and show you how I go through the whole process. But that has made my my week. All right, take care. Thank you very much, Jeff. Take care now. All the best, Paddy.